Good love us. Thanks again for tuning in to yet another video. I'm coming at you live from the West Coast yet again. San Jose, California. Look at this beautiful weather out here. Out in Cali. Man, you can't beat this year-round riding weather. So let's go ahead and get into the topic of today's video. The lowers. I've had them now for... What is that? Two months? I think I've had it for two months. And um, I've now come... I found out a couple things about them. Now, keep in mind the bike is absolutely filthy. I'm getting over a flu going on four weeks uh, tomorrow. Uh, yes, four weeks tomorrow. Still have some symptoms. A bizarre flu. So, bike's absolutely filthy. I haven't had time to clean it. It's been raining nonstop here in, uh, here in uh, California. It never rains like this. It's you know it's been six years since it's rained like this and we've been getting non-stop rain. It actually rained last night and we're in April. So oh and I keep my bike outside. Alright, so uh now that I've had some uh some time to you know put the uh, lowers to the test, you know, see some drawbacks and probably a few comments of course on the videos. People have been wondering uh, does the bike overheat remember guys this is a Milwaukee 8 it has an oil cooler I haven't found I haven't seen any issues with with cooling or anything like that or with overheating I, I don't think so I mean you guys can see it does block out quite a bit of you know air from my knees but I don't you know I, I don't see it uh, you know being an issue mainly because you guys can see the uh, the shape of the inner of of the lower uh you can see it's it's pretty much directed all the wind flow to the jugs you can see it right here i, I don't know if the camera's going to pick up on this but uh you could also see obviously right here you see how it's all kind of directed uh right at the jug you know it's all kind of it's got a shape to it and it directs all of the all of the wind uh, at the engine and I get, you know, I get zero, <laughs> with zero wind on, on my legs. It's, yeah, I mean, it, it does the job, all right? The only, I mean, the only bit of wind I get is just right here at the outer edge of my knee. This is the only wind I get. Uh, you know, wind protection is phenomenal. Uh, it's phenomenal with this, uh, with this setup. Of course, it's a frame-mounted fairing, you know, massive uh, fairing. And then, of course, I also have the lowers. You can see the same, you know, the same deal is all, it's also over here. You can see... It's directed right, like I said, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but you can see, you know, it's directed all at the jug. You can see the shape of it. It's got a little bit of a contour. I'm guessing that's why it's designed like that. Uh, overheating wise, on my bike, I haven't seen any, you know, any of that. Cause like I said, I have an oil cooler on this thing. So, and then on top of that, you guys know that the Milwaukee's also run cooler. It could be a mixture of the pump, and the uh, and then the oil cooler, maybe that's why they just run cooler. It could be because, of course, you have eight valves on this. Maybe that you know that could also be another reason why they just run cooler. That's probably it. You know, it's just it, it's it's faster at getting the air in and out. That way, it doesn't you know stay in, in the jug for too long and and overheat. I mean, that could be it. I, I don't know, but I mean, the lowers have shape to them. I I, I haven't seen any overheating issues. Uh, I, I, I don't know so far so there's that uh, something else that I've noticed now that I've been on the bike like I said uh, I've lost some lean angle on on the bike quite a bit of lean angle keep in mind I don't you know go crazy or anything yes I have a few minor you know scrapes from leaning the bike a little bit I, I don't even think this is like like I'm really leaning into it you guys can see it's all of course my my heat shields all damaged uh, you, can, you know you guys can see my chicken strips right here you know I don't I don't completely lean the bike over cuz I'm, I'm really you know on uh, scraping my my bike I even scraped my washer here I believe this piece I believe I've I've, I've also scraped this uh, leaning it over so like I said now that I'm you know riding the bike and I'm you know I'm really uh, uh, you know I'm really hesitant on, on leaning the bike too much I, I know the limitations of the bike all right I, I have um, I, I have a little bit of a of a, of a mono shock upgrade to kind of lift the bike a little bit more but now that I have the fairing 
uh, like I said, the lowers, they do take away some of my lean angle. And I'll show you, uh, you know, just, just show you guys what's up. Uh, you can see on my engine guard, you know, I've already scraped it. Uh, well, or, or sorry, the slider. The slider on my engine guard, you can see, you know, it's got some scraping. You could also see where I actually scraped my lower. I believe the camera's going to pick that up. You can see it right there. And I heard it, and I backed off. Luckily, of course, it wasn't, uh, uh, I, I was on an open road. I, I didn't have to, you know, just keep on grinding it and just say F it. Uh, you know, it, it is what it is. But I was able to kind of back off a little bit. But you can see I scraped uh, my uh, my lower there. Uh, you know it is what it is. You can see it also right here on my on my uh, my foot peg. I also scraped that as well. And I I don't think I leaned it you know that much. It, so you know if it's if it's on my bike you know we lost some lean angle. So keep that in mind if you're looking at lowers. I think that's one of the drawbacks is, you know, you're losing some lean angle. So my, you know, next project uh, as far as, you know, keeping the lowers because I really like the way the bike looks. You guys can let me know in the comments. Am I wrong? Uh, should I just remove the, the lowers and then, you know, reclaim that, that lean angle? Or we could raise the front end. So that's my next project for the LRS, for the FX LRS is raising that front end of course jerry's or harry's customs um he sells of course these little inserts for the forks so that's where i'm you know leaning towards and i'll you know it'll buy my i'll buy myself maybe about i say half an inch on that front end and maybe you know by lifting it up you know by half an inch i'll, I'll reclaim some of that some of that lean angle and i'll be able to lean it a little bit more uh, you know at, at, at the corners so you know that's just one of those things one of the drawbacks I've noticed so far from the lowers not you know overheating or anything like that but of course uh, the lean angle it's just one of them all right so of course we have to remove the the fairing the lowers not you know it's not a big issue it's not bad I, I actually installed all the lights properly so I could just you know I, I have quick uh, I have quick disconnects on everything everything's connected by JE you can see it right there those those are my s ones so not you know it's not a big deal tops to remove of course the the fair and everything maybe about 20 to 30 minutes to remove that and then lift the whole bike so we could also do another thing uh, big bear performance they offer an extension for these inverted forks uh, they have two inches and three inches so if you want to get more lift on your bike you could actually go with Big Bear Performance and buy one of their kits. Like I said, you'll you'll buy an extra two inches or whatever you decide to buy. They have, like I said, they have two kits, two inches and three inches. A two-inch rise on the front, you know, that's huge. Or that that's that's gonna completely alter the way the bike feels. Uh, yeah, that's 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 a massive difference. But I believe half an inch with not messing with the forks should be good enough. For, for, like I said for me to just reclaim some of that lean angle so that's yeah uh, that's pretty much it uh, as far as you know the post on Facebook about the lowers I've been seeing some stuff about the lowers being uh, you know different or not identical and they're not they're not identical at all one's a little bit longer than the other one I believe the one on the right side is just a tad bit shorter because of course you have you have your air breather and you have your exhaust you can see how close this is you know i you know it's about you know it's, it's i say it's about a quarter inch to 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 uh three eighths of an inch right here it's really close it doesn't touch my exhaust uh i believe yeah I, yeah there's just slightly different you can see it on this one it's slightly longer and that one that side's just slightly shorter so they're not identical i've been seeing some of the posts about people complaining of how the lowers are not the same they're not all right you have one on the right side you have your your air filter, your exhaust, and then of course you have uh, the left side, you don't have anything, you know, there. Uh, something else that I came across as far as, you know, riding the bike, my feet, they, they do knock into the lower on this side. All right, it's, it's unfortunate, you know, you can see it even my, just having my tennis shoe here, you can see that, you know, my foot's already banging up. So what I tend to do when I'm riding the bike, 
is lean my foot out like this so this is typically how i ride you know my bike having my foot angled and not having it you know bump into the lower all the time so i don't think it's a big issue but you know just something to note this side does uh you know it, it does hit my foot quite a bit i believe this side i haven't had any issues as far as clearance you can see my foot fits in right in the pocket perfectly i haven't had any issues uh you know as far as trying to kick out or anything not much here let's see yeah you can see it's a little bit but you know it's like perfect with my foot uh, i wear size nine and a half so depending on your foot you know your foot size i think anything above nine and a half you'll probably start you know banging into your lower on the right side and on the left side so if you have a big foot if you have if you have a big foot you might be you know running into a few issues of course you could trim the lowers you could also move the lower a little bit towards uh you know the front of the bike but of course you'll lose uh you know this 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 uh this edge from lining up it's gonna look awkward it's gonna look funny my lowers are actually slightly forward if, you know because of that for that reason and you can see it you know you can see it i don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up but you you can see that it's you know just a tad bit in front of the fairing i say about you know like a quarter inch you can see that the edge doesn't really match on on both of the sides and that's like i said that's just because uh you know i'm trying to move these a little bit away from my feet you can see it on this side they're identical on both sides you can see that uh there's about a quarter inch difference between the lower and the fairing they're just slightly forward away from my feet because of course the clearance from the foot controls and the lower so there's there's another you know potential issue that you might run into you know foot clearance and lean angle that's you know th those are the only cons you guys cannot weigh that if you guys want to buy yourself a little bit more you know wind wind protection i've seen a few posts uh you know writing that he mentioned the buffeting was really bad on on uh on his build because he also went with the fxrt fairing from dominator i don't really see that with you know with that being an issue i rode with the bike without the lowers for you know for about two weeks i didn't have any you know wind buffeting or anything like that it could be your helmet and it could be your size i'm five seven so you know based off of that if you have wind buffeting and you think this is going to fix it it could probably fix it i was looking into it of course the research and it's something about the wind getting underneath and there's a there's like a, a, a pocket on behind the fairing and uh you know underneath or something like that it just uh, it shakes your helmet or whatever i haven't had that issue even doing you know 70 80 even 90 miles per hour i haven't had any you know wind buffeting at all so it could be like i said it could be your helmet or it could be uh you know just your size i'm five seven i don't sit that high up on the bike uh i don't have any problems with uh with, with wind buffeting with or without the lower so there's there's that just a quick little video um you know if you guys have any other questions leave them leave them down in the comments you guys just stay out there stay safe don't believe everything real life's risk get out there and ride later